This week's Michigan Lottery Excellence in Education winner is Tammy Cantola from Ravana Middle School. Tammy, congratulations. Thank you. We have a video from your nominator. Take a look. Tammy, I am so excited you have been chosen to receive the Excellence in Education Award. Your dedication for our children and the community does not go unrecognized. The countless hours you put in on a daily basis is a big part of the reason you have touched so many of our lives. I cannot think of a more deserving teacher. Your love and compassion for your job is a big part of what makes you so special. Congratulations. What's going through your mind right now? I, d I don't know, I'm just surprised. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, we received a letter as well, and it says, Tammy is not just a teacher, she is a mentor, and a mentor to other teachers and students. What do you think when you hear that, Tammy? I'm glad I was able to touch so many lives in my time um, through the Destination Imagination program in my classroom, from kids from kindergarten to 12th grade and beyond. And I love that they keep coming back. Now you go above and beyond the call of duty as a teacher. Why do you do that? Teaching has never been about the time you put in for me. It's more about opening the doors and giving them the gift to imagine and believe that they can do things. Introducing them to something they may not be interested in doing and making them realize it's something that they are excited about and begging to do. When you see that light bulb go off in a student's eye, tell me about that. It's what keeps me coming back every year. The excitement in their learning, the learning they didn't think they could do or they didn't think they wanted to do, um, it lets me relive that experience again like Christmas morning. Absolutely. You've been teaching for, for a number of years and uh, you, you kind of have a saying that you told me off camera. You said, I'm gonna keep doing this until I, I don't do it, right? <laughs> yeah, until I shouldn't do it anymore, but I keep coming back every year. It's all about the kids. And you, you sat down and there's a little twinkle in your eye when you talk about the kids. Um, tell me about the kids. Tell me the stories about the kids and, and your interactions and, and that. I have always loved teaching because I love the ability to empower them to learn and want to drive their own learning. And the minute they take over and I sit back and watch, it's like I'm in for the ride. And um, I let my seventh graders kind of run the room once they learn and take it to the level they want to go and they usually drive it farther than I would ever go. And with the destination imagination, there's often times we adults put up as walls and say it's not possible and if you sit back and watch the kids, they make those walls just gone. You described that when you were describing the pandemic, but you're in classroom, but you said the kids have really stepped up. Tell me about that. They have. Our seventh graders are amazing, and I'm sure it's across the country like this. We had to take some privileges they're used to, like walking to the next class on their own or um, being in class with a lot of students. They're now just with 20 kids all day long, and they don't care. They just want to be there. They're wearing masks. They're taking mass breaks when we take mass breaks and being okay with it, staying the two foot apart, just to be together and to learn together and to be able to be in that classroom and driving each other's learning. Fast forward for me 10 years from now, you run into a former student. What do you hope that student says to you? That I made a difference. That I opened a door that they wouldn't have known was there and that learning was easy because of it. You're doing that. Congratulations.